Hey guys, in this episode, we're gonna take this beater guitar, clean it up, and make it really playable again. Look at the kitty 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 kick. This is uh, left in the garage by my good old friend Matt Carmody and uh, tried playing it today and I think I realized that uh, by the looks of these strings I don't think they've been changed since uh, the turn of the century so maybe 1999 somewhere around there but we are going then it's got we got a little boo-boo here that we're gonna fix so we got a little bit of a thing that's gonna happen where we're gonna change these strings we got these guys too to replace that one broken thing, probably replace all of them. And uh, this thing actually comes with, I don't know if you can see that, see that big one right there? That also is for, but you know, we may just keep that because that's kind of a nice cool white one. But let's see if we can get some loving going on over here. Uh, I'm not too happy about the rust on those string trees. And the other thing that I noticed here is we got quite a bit of action happening. So we got the good old truss rod in there. So for that, but um, actually, you know, even with the strings pretty dead and grimy, I can tell that this guitar can sound really good. So. We're going to give it a little bit of love. Look at that. Wow. We're, it's time for a razor. So, I got one. Look at that one. Cleaned it with this sucker right here. So, that's kind of how, that's what it's going to have to be, man. Alright, cool. I feel like uh, I'm getting intimate with the guy that used to play this guitar now. Okay. So check out the difference. Man, oh man. Look at that. This thing is going to feel so much better. You know, I mean, you definitely got some really kind of cool, you know, finger wear there. But that's cool, you know. I kind of want that, it makes it look really cool, but you don't want too much of that black gunky stain. Nice. Okay, so I'm ready to start stringing, and I'm using the brand new string pegs or whatever you call them. So the way I do it, and this is so much easier, especially with this guy, because we've got all the tuners on one side is I make sure that you've got that all all the way and then I measure it the way I do it is I measure it to the hey you gotta focus right here Fee. <laughs> I uh, measure it to the next tuner and I slide it back right so now I've got a little bit of slack and I turn it around this way I loop it like that and then minder guys so there you have it um, guitar like this sitting around or maybe even if you find something like this in a pawn shop and it doesn't seem like it plays good maybe all it needs is just a little bit of TLC you know a little good cleaning some fresh strings and um, you may have a really good player in your head so uh, if you guys like this video make sure you subscribe and we'll see you next time